We've got some dinosaur news and it is wild because one of Europe's most famous ornithopods might not be an ornithopod at all. Raptodontids, you know, those weird island dwelling European plant eaters. Turns out they may have technically been horned dinosaurs this whole time. So here's the context. Ceratopsians horned dinosaurs are everywhere in the Lake Cretaceous. But Europe, that's a tough one. Europe's Lake Cretaceous was an archipelago of islands and horned dinosaurs there have been scarce. There have been a few fragmentary finds here and there, but nothing super convincing or abundant. So for years, the question has been, where are Europe's ceratopsians? That's where Oikoceratops comes in. Oikoceratops was discovered in Hungary and described in 2010 as Europe's first definite ceratopsian. But not everybody agreed, and the identity of Oikoceratops got debated hard. Some studies suggested it was just an unusual ornithischian dinosaur, or even an ornithopod-like dinosaur. So for years, the best evidence of European ceratopsians was under question. Now we jump to the new study, published on January 7, 2026, and led by Susanna Maidman. And here's the big thing. They described new fossil material from Oikoceratops, including a much more complete skull. And with that new skull, they ran phylogenetic analyses that strongly supports Oikoceratops is a ceratopsian. But their analysis didn't just place Oikoceratops as a ceratopsian. They found that some dinosaurs that were previously classified as raptodontids aren't ornithopods at all. They fall within Ceratopsia, the broader group that includes Triceratops and its relatives. So this means Europe didn't lack Ceratopsians, we just misfiled them. And this does raise a huge question. If one Raptodontid turned out to be a Ceratopsian, how many more Raptodontid fossils need to be reevaluated? And this is kind of giving Nanotyrannus vibes, right? Where a bunch of specimens we thought were one thing actually turn out to be something else. And it turns out a lot of them will need to be rejected. But the authors actually did do this in the study. They looked at other raptodontid material and found that at least one example, Zalmoxes, doesn't quite fit as a raptodontid in their analyses. Instead, it also comes out as a ceratopsian. So the big takeaway here is that Europe may have had more abundant ceratopsians than we originally thought. And we may need to pay a visit to the museum drawers.